Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we are doing a little bit of a first impressions, a little bit of a refresher to see because I did my foundation declutter and we're trying out the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation to see if I'm going to keep it or if it's going to be thrown in the trash. And the star of today's show, you guys asked for it and I heard you. This is the Violet Voss Olive, I can't say this right, Olive You Forever palette. That is what I have on my eyes today. And I can't wait to show you guys how I got this look. But before we get into it, if you're new here, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. I upload videos twice a week and it's mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you want to see how I got this look using quite a few products you haven't seen yet on my channel, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so as you guys saw from my foundation declutter video, I said that there were some foundations that I needed to try to see if I wanted to keep them or not. So today's gonna be kind of like a get ready with me. Let's decide if we're keeping these. Um, get, I don't know. We just we need a film. <laughs> That's what's going on. So I've already moisturized my face, and I am going to start with. This Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Y'all saw me haul this in a Marshalls haul and I have not used it yet. This is just the regular blur stick. This isn't the... I uh, showed y'all a small one that was a luminous one. We're not doing that today. So we're just going to see. It's a twist up. I moisturized with the Juno & Co. Moonshine Miracle Cream. So I feel like my face is hydrated enough. We're just going to see how this works. I don't know if you guys can see that. I do see a little bit of like a mattifying and a pore filling. I don't know how much of this stuff you're supposed to use. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to press it into my skin. And then we're going to go ahead and do eyes first because I am using a new palette. I am going to be using the Violet Voss Olive You Forever palette. You guys saw me haul this recently and I was too excited about it. So it's kind of like, how can I not use it, you know? So we're going to start off with eyeshadow primer. I am going to use my P. Louise Makeup Base in Rumor 02 if I can find my brush. I like to use this whenever I want to make sure my eyeshadows pop really well and I'm too excited about this palette to not use this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in my eyebrows a little bit. I'm gonna do my brows and stuff off camera later. So we are gonna let that sit for a second. I am going to set it just a little bit. I have my Juno & Co. This is their makeup setting powder and translucent this is called juno blur and this does have the sifter on top so i'm just going to stick my brush in there and take a little bit and just lightly dust over that now for this palette you guys saw how excited i was about it mainly because it's olive and of course i want to do a bit of a green look but at the same time i'm just like I don't know this kind of silvery green here is calling out to me so we may use that one on the lid but we'll see i'm gonna start with wishful in the crease which is this kind of light taupey shade so that'll help kind of lean the look a little more cool like it's been a little minute since I did a cool tone look so I'm gonna go ahead and do that it's still pulling a little neutral so it's not too bad next we're going to go in the crease a little more with charmed which is the darker brown here I'm gonna take a smaller brush I just want to deepen that up some
And I'm just going to go back and blend around the edges. Oh, what to do, matte or shimmer? I have, mm, we're going to do matte. I really want, no. We're going to do shimmer. I can't help it, guys. That's my favorite thing. I'm going to stick with it. I am going to go back and carve out my crease just a little bit. I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll be back and we'll get into these shimmers. All right, I'm going to take a flat brush and I am trying to decide if I'm going to wet my brush. Let's just see without. I'm going to go in with Olive View and see how that picks up. It's like a silvery kind of green. I'm going to use my finger. There we go. Ooh, that is pretty. And I'm going to go back with the brush just to make sure I get a clean application where I did my cut crease. See a little bit of fallout. I probably should have wet my brush to help it. Let's wet it and see. And then we're going to go in with Olive Me, which is the more olive green versus the kind of mossy green here. I don't see that much of a difference with them on the eyes. I see it when I swatch them though. Oh, there it is. Yeah, now you can see it. So now I'm going to go back with Charmed, the dark brown we put, and just darken up this outer edge a little bit. And we're just stamping that. I am going to go in with a little bit of the black just to make this a little more dramatic. Ooh, that is dark. Whoa, be careful. Okay. That definitely amped that up quick. Whoa. That is a really dark black. And that just took this a whole different direction because I was not trying to make this this smoky. Ooh, that pigment though. Hold on, boo. Hold on. Take your time. That is gorgeous. That black came through. I'm just going to run it through the crease a little tiny bit. And then I'm going to take my fluffy brush and blend some more because we don't want no harsh lines. So I'm going back with Wishful, which may not do it. Twenty minutes later, I had to do some serious blending because, y'all, that black just... Woo, it was not blending into the other shadows. I added a little bit of infatuated because I needed a blend between these two just to kind of help it. So I think we are there. I did have a little bit of fallout as well that I wiped away. Just to tell y'all everything I did, but there is still some glitter on my face, but it's fine. So we're going to move on to complexion now. I am going to color correct. I'm using my... Black Radiance, this is their HD corrector in orange. Whoa, this is really dark. A lot darker than my LA Girl one. 
which I don't know if that's good or bad. We're about to find out. I'm gonna let that sit just a little bit to dry down to give me some more coverage. And then I'm gonna blend it in or just pat it down for the face today. I told you guys that I needed to try this Beauty Bakery Insta Bake Foundation again to see how I felt about it. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure I wore it. I mean, I had to have. And I think I did it in my um, Black Owned Beauty Brands video, but I just don't remember what I felt about it. I'm not doing a wear test because it is about 6.30. Well, it's 6 o'clock here, but... Yeah, definitely don't want to do that this late. So we're just going to put it on, see what the color looks like, and go from there. Ooh-wee, that's yellow. Oh, no, it looks yellow on my finger. So this is two pumps so far. <laughs> this might be a summer shade. Oh, baby. I don't think this is going anywhere, though. I may need to get a little darker to wear it, but just off the bat, the initial application and the way it's spreading. You know what? I think I remember this now. I remember wearing it with my, with the Beauty Bakery, um, conce not concealer, primer, their stick butter primer. And I remember feeling like it was just gliding on my skin and it felt, yeah, this is too dark for me right now, but it'll be all right. Um, I remember feeling like, man, this primer is making this glide on so easy and look how good it looks, but this is doing it by itself. And I do see a little bit of a glow. I'm gonna add a little more, one more pump on my areas that need it. But yeah, I thought it was the primer doing it, but this foundation is doing it. Oh yes, honey. This is a little dark, like I said, but y'all, this coverage, this glow, I am here for it. Look at that. And it's playing well with that milk primer too. I've just been having that sitting in a drawer. This little headband thing ain't doing nothing. It's supposed to be holding my... Oh, anyway. Yeah, she a little dark, but that's all right. This is the color your girl likes to be. Oh, I don't think I told y'all the shade. <laughs> this is 315W. So now we know she ain't going nowhere, nowhere. For concealer today, I have my Marc Jacobs Accomplice in Tan 40. I hauled this, I was out of town when I got it just because I was in a Sephora and I was like, I wanna see. I don't remember how I felt about this, but if it ain't enough coverage, we're gonna get rid of it. I have not decluttered my concealers and stuff yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that on camera or not. Y'all, I said this blur primer was doing something, but I'm going to lean in so you guys can see. We see how this looks like it's just sitting on top of my skin. Do y'all see the little holes? Hmm. That's different. All right. Uh, concealer brush. Let's see. We can press that into the skin. Okay, that's better. I was about to say, Lord, what is that madness? Yes, yeah, this isn't a bad concealer, but I definitely don't feel like it's bright enough for what I like. And I don't. I mean, I guess it would be okay for like a look that wasn't full glam, maybe a little more natural, quote unquote. But for what we doing right now, girl, we need you to help us because this foundation is already dark and then you ain't picking up none of the slack lightening this up. I'm going to put a little more concealer. I'm going to let it sit. We might be able to brighten this up some. But I don't like having to pile this much stuff on my face, so 
we'll definitely save that for next time when I'm doing, not next time I film, but next time I'm doing something that's not as full coverage. I mean, it's buildable. I just don't like putting that much product on my face because that's what makes it end up sliding off. I mean, I think it looks good. Definitely got a little glow going on. Skin looks healthy and hydrated. All right, we're going to go ahead and set with this Juno & Co powder. I'm going to try to pour some out because I really need to bake. And this does not want to come out of this sifter. I definitely can't really get a lot on my sponge. I mean, some's coming out, but. Oh, I do feel like this is blurring me, though. See, I can still see my dark spots a little bit right here. So that's how you can know that that concealer, not full coverage. This powder is nice though. I haven't used this in a while. I feel like it's definitely blurring everything. I feel like I'm looking matte, but not like everything is dried down to suck the life out of me. And I don't see no forehead wrinkles yet. Y'all know that's the tail. We normally see those early. I'm just gonna go over the rest of my face with this powder lightly because it is darker. And I want to set it, but I don't want to go in with something that's going to add more color. I think this looks so good, though. For the face, we are going to go in with my CoverFX face palette. You guys know how excited I was when I found this. And I used it off camera, so now I want to show you why I was so excited. I'm going to take this contour shade, which you can tell is really warm for a contour. This is more just a bronzer. I'm going to start a lot picks up so you do have to be careful see that that's a lot ooh wee but it is blending out so we are right that's such a pretty shade I mean it's warm but I feel like it's still giving some dimension. So you can build it up and it doesn't look too red. I love this palette. I, I Like I said, I used it that one time off camera because I was like, let me go finish my face and I'll come back. But y'all, I had to let you know. Look at that sculpt. I am going to take, what brush am I going to use? A smaller brush and I am just going to, this is my bronzer brush. I'm just going over everything again, but I want to show you guys this finishing powder because I used this last time just right here on my face. I got a hair and I thought it looked so pretty. So I have to show you guys what that looked like. So I'm just going to take this e.l.f. powder brush. It's really small and we are going to dip lightly. There is a little bit of sheen to this, but I promise you don't see it. Well, maybe a little bit, but it's not bad. I just feel like it helps blur everything. For highlighter, we're going to mix this shade and this shade here. We're going to go in with the first one. so pretty and now I'm gonna come back with that really light one and just look how that amped that up ooh we I said really lightly but uh we in there 
And don't worry, we're going to blend it all together with our blush. But look at these highlighters, guys. This is beautiful. Blush, I am going to use the same palette. Going to go in with the one marked blush. I'm going to start back here and then come forward because from what I remember, she is pigmented. Can y'all tell I love this look? Y'all know how I love my blush. Look at that. I want to put a little more, but we're going to stop. I'm going to finish my bottom lash line, and I'm just going to go in with the Charmed Dark Brown, and I'm going to sweep that on my bottom lash line. I'm going to smoke this out a little bit since that black came through so deep. And then just to add another color, we're going to go in with Major Spotlight, which is this really light one here, and we're going to do our inner corner. And I'm going to go back with Olive You, the silvery shade, and whoa, try not to get that all over my face. Let me wet it. All right, guys, I'm going to go finish. I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to do mascara, lashes, liner, all that stuff off camera. And then I'll come back and finish lips. And that'll be it. All right. Friggin' lashes took forever. I don't understand why sometimes my magnetic lashes work like a dream. And then other times it's like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know. Anyway, for lipstick today, I'm going to use my Rimmel Coffee Bean Pencil. It's like a brownish red. And then for lipstick, I was going back and forth. I really was tempted to try this lipstick. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it and I might wipe it off and come back or it might be good. I'm going to put just a little and then I'm going to rub it in with my finger. Might be the only way we can wear this ugly color. <laughs> Lord. Tell me what y'all think. Comment below. Because this is definitely outside my comfort zone, but... I feel like since the look is a little cool, this kind of goes with what's going on on the outside here. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I mean, we got it on. We ain't changing it now, but... Ooh, and I feel dry. All right, to finish it off, I'm going to spray my face with my Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace Baking Spray. Have not used this in a while. And we're just going to... Oh, oh no. Okay. It's kind of aerosolish, but at the same time, I see some drops on my face. And that is it, guys. This is it for the final look. Tell me what you think about this lip color, because this is way outside my box, but... I think it kind of goes and I feel like it makes my teeth look white. I ain't mad at it. This eyeshadow palette, I knew I was going to love it. I'm so glad I got it. I love this silvery green shade. I'm glad I decided to do that. I'll use it again and I want to play with this matte just to see how it's going to look. But overall, I got to put something on top of this. My lips look bad already. 
This is just my Becca Plumping Lip Balm, the Hydrolite. I just needed a little something because, Lord, we was about to have raisin lips. Anyway, this is it for the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you decide to stick around and become a part of the family. We would love to have you. I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.